so I'm getting a little bit tired, you know, a little bit sick and tired of uh, Cleveland Browns, their fans, their organization, their teams, their employees, whatever you want to call it. Just the uh, the Cleveland Browns in general wanted to talk smack about the New York Giants for seemingly no reason other than to get on their star wide receiver's good side, you know, living up to their Brown name and Brown nosing themselves on Odell, trying to get on his good side for whatever reason might be. You know what I mean? This is like, obviously, in case you didn't know by the title or by context clues or whatever, Baker Mayfield, for now, the second time, uh, has outright come out and, you know, basically trashed Giants and uh, Giants fans and organization and whatnot. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's done it more than that, you know, indirectly before. And it's definitely not the second time only for the Browns in general. Old Dell has done it. Jesus, man, I've lost count. Uh, he went on that 50-tweet Twitter rant. Uh, he had his own GQ interview before that. Uh, he had comments about how he left the legacy in New York and whatnot, about how he was the only reason we're getting primetime games. I don't know, there's some new Brown fans out here, and I recognize that these guys don't represent the uh, the fan base and everybody associated with the Browns, but listen, it's what's being shown, and I'm too sick and tired of it because... Uh, we ain't done nothing, bro. The Giants in general, I don't know what we've done to y'all. We traded Odell, and we actually sent him to probably the best place possible for his talents to a place where he could and should be comfortable with since he's with his uh, his best friend Jarvis, and he's with a great quarterback, uh, at least in talent. Not sure about anything else anymore with Baker Mayfield. We sent Odell to a really good place, and let's be honest here, he didn't give any indication that he wants to stay in New York Giants, so nobody knows why he got his panties in a bunch up until now either. So, that was a weird intro to my rant, but you know, it's a rant, so it's going to be a little bit weird. In his, Baker's GQ interview, he basically trashes Daniel Jones, apparently, and I don't believe this at all, obviously, uh... Apparently Baker during the interview saw some type of ESPN or Sports Center report pop up uh, during the time of the draft. So this was back in April. And he's saying how he can't believe the Giants drafted Daniel Jones. That um uh, when you draft a quarterback, all great quarterbacks have one thing in common, like a great track record track record or something like that, and Daniel Jones isn't a quarterback that wins. Basically saying that how we made a bad decision, we were stupid, and that Daniel Jones is a bad quarterback and whatnot. And Baker, what I got to say to you is you had one good year in the league, bro. You had a great rookie season. I'll give you that. Uh, you had great college years. But you of all people coming from college to the NFL should know that it's uh, not at all. You know, there's no great correlation between how you perform in college and how you perform in the NFL. And Baker, honestly, I thought I still do think he's the best quarterback out of the 2018 draft. Uh, yeah, I like, you know, him. A couple of my other favorites are like Josh Allen and you know Sam Darnold and whatnot but Baker I think definitely had the most potential and probably the highest floor I'm starting to like him less and less every time he opens his mouth like you've had let's let's be honest here for all rookies that even goes for my favorite guy my guy Saquon all rookies bro every single rookie whether you have a great season or a bad season that rookie season isn't indicative of your career and if you get in a little big headed after just one season in the NFL, you need to chill out, calm down before you turn into something like Antonio Brown, my guy, before you turn into a diva. Because, I mean, Baker's already halfway there, let's be honest. And the, just in general, man, the hate towards Daniel Jones, even to this day, after the guy goes out there and, uh, for, you know, for the most part, proves people wrong. Yeah, it's not the regular season, but he's going out there and definitely showing he's a worthy quarterback of the NFL. He deserves to be in the NFL even up to now we're still getting so much hate towards a kid who's really done nothing wrong man like he's he's just done everything right and that is do a good job in college do the best with what he could with that terrible team that Duke had carried them I think to nine or eight wins or something like that like he was the only reason Duke appeared in a bowl game and he did enough to get noticed by not only the Giants scouting team and the Giants general manager and coaches but he definitely got noticed by Denver and Washington and probably a couple other teams out there. He did everything right, bro. 
he didn't do anything wrong he didn't he does not come out and bad mouth anybody this dude is quiet classy does his job and got drafted into the nfl i don't know why and i'm not talking about hating on the pick now i'm talking about specifically hating on him that's what baker is doing that's what a lot of people are doing that's what it seems the browns are doing and everybody seems to want to make him and the giants the new whooping boy of the nfl which i think is just ludicrous listen the browns play the giants next year in 2020 i don't know when i don't know where and i spoke about this last video too about the giants ticket prices when baker is saying that we don't pack stadiums which he's an absolute fool for because i shut that down we pack stadiums every year despite our ticket prices you know some of them being a little out of reach i don't care when where what time how much the ticket costs or whatever it is for that game against the browns in 2020 season i'm gonna be there to watch the giants absolutely destroy them because that's what's gonna happen Bro, all this is just motivation. We're only 19 days away from the regular season. And you want to, uh, like, GQ wants to release this interview now. Whatever the case may be. Listen, Cleveland, I hope y'all fall flat on your faces. Y'all didn't deserve LeBron. Y'all didn't deserve him the second time he came back. Y'all definitely don't deserve the talent that Baker Macefield has. Because I won't deny that. And the talent y'all got on paper with the way y'all acting, bro. Y'all so out of pocket right now. This thing right here, man, I'm getting sick and tired of it. I really don't want to make a video on it, which is why I'm kind of all over the place. But Baker Mayfield, you need to calm down, bro. I don't know who you think you are. Doing all this won't get you on Odell's good side, bro. Because that's what all, let's be honest here, guys. That's what all the Browns, whether it's the fans and or the actual players, whatever the hell it is, bro. That's why they all trashing on the Giants. That's literally the only connection. We gave them Odell, we gave them Vernon. Yeah, the, there's a little bit of a bad taste in their mouth. More so Odell than Vernon because, you know. The team traded you, but there's no need uh, for y'all to be out here doing all this, talking trash constantly, causing, you know, and stirring up drama in the media and whatnot. Because, you know, we're not rivals or anything like that. Y'all are literally as farthest away from the NFC East as you could possibly be. We see each other like, what, once every four or once every three years or something crazy like that. And before you guys became a super team on paper, you were basically irrelevant and kind of like the lovable loser to the NFL. But now y'all just y'all just haters bro and it's not even just giants fans and people you know uh that the browns may or may not have trashed on that hates the browns now or hates their players now because anybody with common sense looks at this and just sees an annoying little brat you know so i hope the browns fall flat on their face which i doubt they would this year you know what i'm saying i don't know they're probably gonna win around eight to ten games Definitely, I think they're gonna be a playoff, but a uh, playoff team, but not like a divisional. You know, I don't think they're gonna win their divisional, uh, their divisional one. I think they're definitely gonna be a wild card, or something like that. But this Browns team ain't built to last. There's a lot of people y'all need to pay on here. You already know what Odell wants. You're gonna need to pay Jarvis. You're gonna need to pay Chubb eventually. You're gonna need to pay Miles Garrett. Like people forget about Miles Garrett. You're gonna need to pay him. You're probably gonna need to pay Vernon. And you're definitely gonna need to pay Baker. Very similar situation to the Cowboys. So this team ain't built to last. They'll probably got like a two, three year window. And that's without any drama coming from your diva wide receiver and your diva quarterback. So you know what, Browns fans? That's what I got to say, y'all. I really don't care. This is just getting annoying, getting out of hand. And the Giants is going to prove everybody wrong. Y'all already know me. I think our year next is next year. The year we're going to whip the Browns. I think 2020 will be the Super Bowl team. This year is a transition year. But we still... Gonna prove people wrong. Gonna surprise a lot of people. I'm out, y'all. I really don't know what else to say. Leave your comments down below, I guess. This is getting ridiculous. You're... Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...